Welcome to Deep Thought. Take advice with a grain of salt until you can verify it. Take advice. I'm going to tell you what, because, you know, that's basically the, my, one of the main things I'm in business for is giving advice. But have you, have, some of y'all might know, sometimes when I've said, talked about body game or anything else, I say, go out and check it out. I say, go test it out. Go see how it works for you or doesn't work for you. All I can do is give advice. Don't take it as gospel until you can verify. Take it with a grain of salt. Even no matter what I say, don't incorporate it into your consciousness or practice it until you've tried it out. You looked into it yourself. Like, let me use the body game example I always talk about on my main channel. I've told men, just try the gym for a bit. Try it and see how it works for you, you know? Or if you don't want to do that, look, I've, there's times I've shared, like, studies. I've shared videos of women going crazy over a man's body. And I, even then, find your own stuff. Or when I talk, give advice on my business channel about stuff to get into, try it. Like, I talk about savings a lot. Uh, get into the habit of paying yourself first and see how it builds, you know? Don't assume it's going to work just because, yes, it's worked for me. I, I talk What I talk about in most cases, uh, you know, in most cases, it's because I've tried it and it worked. Now, it worked for me. That's the only thing, you know, and I've seen it work for some other people. Okay, that's cool. But you got to try it yourself to see if it works for you in particular. You know, verify it. And I, I'm going to tell you what, and I can't speak for other people who speak and give advice. Some people just want you to follow along and everything. Don't question them. No, my thing is this. Now, I do, if you just question it without trying it, yeah, that kind of annoys me. Try it first. And if, if you ask a basic question on how to do it, okay, but try it first. And that's one thing. Uh, with I can't think of any time. In all these years that somebody has actually applied the information, it didn't work for them. Which surprises me because the just reality is different people, you know, they ain't going to take in information the same way. And that's another thing with that. That's another thing. You got to think you're a different person. I don't care what someone tells you. You know, it's easy to tell somebody, hey, you can make money off of uh, this this thing or, you know, this crypto or you can like get all this gold or you can be a, a YouTube content creator. Yeah, they make a lot of money. No, you got to try it out to see if you're going to make money, <laughs> you know, or you're going to do this. You know, take it with a grain of salt. Try it out first. And you know what? It might work for you perfectly. More power to you. Great. Might not work for you at all. Okay, don't, don't, don't employ it. Or you might have to tweak it. Which is ultimately the best thing anyway. You got to tweak something. I don't care what it is. You got to tweak it for something to work for you. It's like teaching somebody how to play basketball. You can teach them the basics, but they still got to find their general game. Right? And, you know, and I'm saying take it. Look, in, in general, I always take stuff with a grain of, a grain of salt. I don't care what it is. I don't care what it is. And that's why I say even what I say with a grain of salt. Because, see, here's where the problem is. You have a lot of people who follow, who follow blindly. I mean, they're sheep. And you got some, seriously, that's why you got so much corruption by spiritual leaders, political leaders, any type of leaders. Shoot, YouTube content creators. That's why you got so much corruption. People just take stuff and they just follow along. And then at some point they find out the hard, hard way, oh, it was false. It was a fraud. No, if it's a fraud, if you take it with a grain of salt from the get-go, you'll find out it's a fraud right away and won't lose too much. You know? It's like like whenever I tell you something I do, whenever I get information from somebody, I don't, I don't incorporate it until I verify it. i give you a great example. I'm known for presenting the whole concept of the imprint, which uh, for those who think, you know, there were some people saying, well, nobody else is talking about it. Look up Dr. John Money and look up the term love map, okay? 
it's out there in indigenous cultures. No, but anyway, when I first heard about the imprint, I didn't, I didn't take that as automatic. I did not take it as automatic. You know, when I first heard the concept of it, when I first heard what it entailed, I did not take it as automatic. You know, and that, you know, the whole thing of women being imprinted by the first two or three men they had sex with. Now I learned the concepts. This is what I did. I started questioning women. Like, scores of women about it. And even to this day, if I get a chance to talk with a woman and she's honest with me, or I feel like she's honest, I, I might ask her. Not even tell her what I'm asking her for. You know, like uh, when I get some female consultation clients, they're having trouble with men. So I'll ask them. I was like, well, what was the first men you got with? Like, I didn't take I didn't take the whole imprint concept into my consciousness until I had several coaching clients. And I and the thing was, I wouldn't tell them what I was asking for. Because sometimes if you tell somebody specifically what you're looking for, you get like this confirmation bias or something, or they'll tell you what you want to hear. No, I just I would just ask them, well, tell me about the first three guys you slept with. Just like that. And after a while, I was like, oh, shit, this stuff works. That's when I finally incorporated. And that's when I get anything. That's when I get anything. You know, I got to look into it. Even when, let me use that term of crypto, because you got a lot of people talking cryptocurrency and all of this stuff. And I've heard there's some millionaires. Okay, um, I'm taking it with a grain of salt. Now, in all, even though I don't mind disagreements, please don't come in here <laughs> saying, oh, you got to check it out. Stop. I'm taking it with a grain of salt until I can check it out. Seriously, that's why I haven't like been like trying to promote it or anything. I'm like, okay, let me let me check it out first. When I, if I check it out and it checks out, then shoot, I'll be one of the biggest promoters. I'll be one of the biggest. But somebody hitting me up talking about, hey, you should try this out. All oh, this, this, the thing. I'm like, I gotta see it work. Like I'm gonna tell you something now. That's something else too. Whenever somebody say something, uh, I always want to know does it work for them. <laughs> that's that's one thing. I mean, it should, because believe it or not, you got a lot of people promote stuff, but it doesn't work for them. So I'm like, mm. you know, that's like asking a homeless person how to become a millionaire. <laughs> it's like, come on now. But no, nah, but it, like, whatever. Take it with a grain of salt. Even everything I'm talking about, shoot, even what I'm talking about right this moment. You know, say, hey, I'm saying not to take it. Mm, let me take that with a grain of salt until I check it out. And I wouldn't be bothered. Because I've actually had a lot of people come back to me and say, hey, Rom, you said this, and I started to see it. I was like, thank you. Seriously, because like I was, like I was getting into a, a bit ago, uh, it's too many people just follow blindly. I don't want anybody to support my work and just be a blind follower. It's really, it's really not good for my ego. I want somebody to say, you know what, Rom, I checked out everything you said, and you were right. I checked it out. I'd rather have people that. I want y'all to think. I want y'all to explore. I don't I don't want any sheep on here. I don't like the concept. Of, oh, like I talk about on my main channel, I like wolves. I want leaders. You know? I don't I don't <laughs> I, I I don't need I don't need a bunch of people praising me and stuff blindly. I want them to say, you know what, I checked out what Rom said. And now I'm applying it. In fact, my biggest thing is I want to see y'all be leaders. Seriously, I want to see y'all be the thinkers. You know, whether you're doing it on YouTube, whether you're just doing it in your neighborhood, I want to see y'all do it. And in order to do that, you need to question stuff. Don't follow blindly, okay? So that's all I have for today, y'all. Y'all have a great weekend. Think on this, and peace and blessings.